Cameron, it seems that every year you've been here, there's been a quarterback battle. Uh, how do you kind of feel like this one's shaping up, maybe even differently than some of the last ones? Um, I mean, I think it's good. I think I'm in the best uh, opportunity to compete right now. I mean, last year I was kind of in the same situation, but right now I've obviously been in the offense and uh, I'm getting the same reps as I was last year, so now it's just on me to be able to compete you guys have a lot of new faces in the receiver room. What have you maybe seen from some of these guys that have come in and uh, been able to make some plays? Um, no, it's, it's awesome. I mean, it's kind of been, it's changed a bunch over the past like six months at the end of the year. So um, getting the new guys in and getting to work with them has been huge. But I mean, Strip had a really good day today, making some plays. And uh, obviously, CJ on the inside, Joey, all those guys are really getting that field of the offense and making connections with us. And it's really good. It seems that in past years, a lot of times there's been, you know, some of the bigger receivers, the guys like the Des Patmans, the Tate Martins, and now it seems there's uh, more of an emphasis on the smaller guys, the Travels, the Renards, the uh, Olympic Victors. Do you kind of notice a difference out there where just kind of the way that you maybe will place the ball a little lower to the ground for some of the the, uh, the shorter guys rather than put one up for grabs? Yeah, I mean, there's a huge difference in size. Um, I think there's also a difference in speed, too, so it's kind of give or take on which which, which you want. So, um, but yeah, the little guys, uh, it's nice just having them beat everyone and get open, but it's a little bit of adjustments going from like Dez or Tay and all those guys from years before, but um, it's not too bad. It takes a day or two. It's nice game. Uh, what have you learned about being in a quarterback competition the last few years that, uh, that's kind of helping you and just how to handle that situation and kind of go about your business and, and maybe not focus on what else is going on around you? Yeah, no, I think, I mean, it's being whatever one this is for me, it helps uh, being so many, just realizing that just worry about what I can control and and be the best I can be ever practice and make my teammates believe in me and then just see what happens. Do you kind of feel like an older guy in this team now? It, it's hard to believe, but yeah, I mean, looking around, seeing how young some of these guys are, like X saying that he's born after 2000 was like a slap to the face. Like, I don't even, it's crazy. Like, so just, I mean, but yeah. Can you talk about your level of knowledge of, of the offense right now as opposed to, to this time last year when, when you were first coming in? And you, you, you obviously had a chance to look at the playbook before camp, but, but I'm sure you don't really get a good grasp of it until you're playing and, and playing team period and, and all up seven on seven. And... Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's night and day with at least my personal knowledge of the offense. Just, uh, it's obviously been a whole year. And last year, yeah, we got some meetings before in the spring and stuff. We go through Zoom and just that's I'm not that, that doesn't really look near them and stuff. So, um, being in a whole year of it, seeing it, spring ball is huge as well. Now it's just like less, so much less thinking and just being able to play it's so much better. That's good with Cam. Is that a Minshew stash you have going on there? Or, trying or, or to. Cam stash? Uh, Cam stash, but it's a little bit of inspiration. Just trying to get better hair than Minshew, so that's all that matters. <laughs> Thanks.